I've decided this is gonna be a true weekly vlog. It is Monday morning, 9.30. I'm just about to head out. I'm actually gonna be signing up for a new gym. It's gonna be my second gym membership. Colby thinks this is ridiculous, but I love the gym I go to right now. I always do the classes. They also have a sauna and steam room, really nice showers. I also use the cardio section, but I never use the weight section. I could suck it up and use the weight section there, but I just feel, I don't know. I know me and I know that if I go to this other gym, I'm gonna use the weight section way more. It's like 15, 20 bucks a month at this gym. I think it's worth it. So I'm gonna go check it out, probably sign up, get a workout in, so I'm like in my gear right now, but that is the first thing we're doing. We're actually making a stop on the way to the gym because I need to get a gym bag. Mine was stolen and then I actually bought one from Lululemon but it was way too small so I returned it and I didn't see one that I like so I'm gonna check a different location. Okay, just ran into Lulu and we have acquired a new bag. This is actually really similar to the one that I had last time. This is the out of range duffel. I just got to the gym except their parking lot is completely full. There's like a sign not allowing you to go in. And I don't want to go to a gym that has parking problems. It's like 10 o'clock on a Monday. Like why would your parking lot be full? So this just happened. I got home from the gym, which by the way, I'm not sold on it. I did a three day trial. I'm going to go back tomorrow. I can't go on Wednesday because I'm actually going to New York, but um, yeah, I just don't know if I'm gonna sign up or not. But anyways, I got home and there was a Lululemon gym bag on my counter full of Lululemon stuff plus another bag of stuff. I guess they were just sending over gifting. Like I had no idea they were sending this. Thank you so much, Lululemon. And I guess I'll be bringing back the bag I just bought because I don't need two gym bags now. But they also sent over this puffer jacket, which is so nice but I just bought a puffer jacket. This one is obviously better. I'm gonna see if any of my friends need a jacket. Um, if not, I'll throw that one up on Depop because it is nice, but I just don't need two black puffer jackets with hoods, you know? The gym bag they sent over is the Dash All Day Duffel, which I was actually looking at. This one is similar to the one I got, but it's um, kind of like padded, I don't know. But I actually think I do like this one better. So I'll be hanging on to this one. Not a bad surprise to come home to. I also did a quick run to Whole Foods. This is everything that I picked up. I love shopping at Whole Foods, but it gets so expensive. This cost $100, but I got gluten-free oats, some baby arugula, just a little thing of cheese. I don't like to eat too much of this, but cheese just tastes good on everything. This hummus is delicious, just the Lebanese style. There's like different flavors. I got a mango, two avocados. In my opinion, this is the best non-dairy yogurt. I just don't see the plain one very often. They have a lot of different flavors. Got some more strawberries, bananas. These are buckwheat grouts. I'm gonna be making granola. Got some wildflower honey, grass-fed butter, a lemon, a lemon squeezer. Some spearmint tea. This is really hard to find. I usually buy it online, but certain grocery stores in Vancouver do carry it. Most places just have peppermint, but um, spearmint's really good for helping to balance your hormones. This is a cashew garlic tzatziki. I actually had this at Stevens the other day, but it's super good. You guys, I finally found the wraps. I've been to Whole Foods like a few times looking for wraps, and they were underneath like the dips and stuff, so... Just got this sprouted wheat organic little wraps. Probably gonna make one of those for lunch. I have some tuna salad mix in the fridge. I'll add some arugula to that. I'm just in this jacket because I just, I just took Pico out, but I'm going through all of these clothes. I placed a couple orders and I was gonna film a haul and then Lululemon sent over all that stuff. So I'm just going through some of it. I will be giving away just because there's a couple doubles of things that I already have. So this one is actually mine, but this is the half zip Sherpa jacket from Lululemon. It's kind of hard to see it properly because it's just all black, but super cute. I love it. They sent over the exact same one. So yeah, I'll probably be giving that away with a couple other things on my Instagram, so definitely go check that out. I was gonna do a big giveaway, but you guys know that all of the product was stolen, so that's a bummer. I need to shoot a couple photos, so I actually have to get ready for once. It's weird how when I vlog on my YouTube, I don't bother getting ready almost ever, but then as soon as it's Instagram, I feel like I need to get ready. I wanna film the haul video, and then I need to pack for New York, so I leave at like 6 a.m. tomorrow. I out all my outfits for New York and I've packed them all up. I just ran to Lululemon and I exchanged that gym bag and I actually got a backpack. I don't really have any carry-on bags that have a slot for my laptop. So this one, I 
thought it was cute. It's a good size and it has like a zipper pocket back here and it's a slot for your laptop and then it just gives me a little bit more room. I might put my makeup bag in here just so I can like pull out the liquids really easily. My carry-on bag is also plumb full so I just needed a little bit more storage. We are in New York, just checked in. I'm eating these cracker cookies. I should not be eating these because I'm trying not to have sugar. But Gina's here too, and she posted this on her story, and oh my goodness, these are so good. I don't think I've told you guys why I'm here, so tomorrow there's an event with First Aid Beauty. That's literally the only reason I'm here, so I have tonight and all of tomorrow, plus Friday morning and maybe a little bit of the afternoon to just do whatever. Here is the breakfast situation. This is not the best angle. I'm just gonna hold the camera because the lighting over there is being dodgy, but last night I met up with Gina. We went to the Fat Radish. It was really good, but I totally forgot to vlog. I'll make sure I bring you guys around today. I'm just finishing up room service. The event with First Aid Beauty is tonight, but it's not till six. I really wanna go to Reformation. There's one like a minute away from here. I've been eyeing their jeans online, and so I thought since I'm here, I may as well go try them on. Hopefully they have the styles that I want because um, they were sold out of the ones that I wanted online. Okay, you guys, we've made a plan for the day. Also, <laughs> I brought a roll of poo bags in my jacket by accident. Gina and I have signed up for a 1230 Berries boot camp class. It's abs and ass. Am I allowed to say that on my channel? So we're gonna go do that, but before we're gonna go to Cha Cha Matcha. I've been meaning to go there. Every time I'm in New York, people tell me to go there and I just haven't gotten around to it. So yeah, I'm gonna grab a matcha do the workout class and then probably do some shopping after because I know she wants to find an outfit for tonight and I want to get jeans. I'm back in my room now. I'm just doing some editing. First Aid Beauty dropped off a few things. There's some pajamas in here and then they also got some snacks that look like they're from Trader Joe's. We've got some freeze-dried mango, beets, pretzel chips, kettle corn, and some dark chocolate. I just finished getting ready. I'm having a glass of wine and I'm gonna head out pretty soon. The venue's only like 10 minutes from here. This is my outfit. They said it's a casual event, so. All of my jewelry is from Majuri. I just have like this ring necklace and these little gold hoop earrings, which I wear like every day. I do have a discount code with them if you guys want to use that. I'll have it linked down below. Cardigan is from Misguided. This is from Pretty Little Thing. These are the jeans I just got from Reformation. They're so comfortable. I'm also wearing this scrunchie in my hair that I got from Brush Salon. in my room we were thinking about hitting up the ice skating at rockefeller center but and we ended up coming back to the hotel we ate food here oh my god we had the best brussels sprouts if you guys are in new york you need to try the brussels sprouts at the restaurant in nomo soho that's the hotel i'm at but so delish i'm gonna have a shower brush my teeth go to bed it's like 11 p.m right now i'm having breakfast with the fab team tomorrow just at the restaurant in the hotel here I just got back from breakfast with a couple of the fab girls and they are heading back to Boston now. And I am packing up, getting ready to head out. I don't think my flight is until like 6 p.m. or something. I need to double check, but I need to check out of here pretty soon. I do need to get my nails done. I don't know if you guys can see, but like they've gotten super long and now they're just cracking off. Like look at this finger. I might see if there's like a nail salon 
around here, go get that done. It'd be a good time killer. <laughs> realize I haven't talked about my nails on the vlog but I ended up getting my nails done when I was waiting to, like before going to the airport there was a nail salon really close to my hotel I don't want to say the name so, so I posted this picture on my Instagram story it's just like expectation versus reality it cost me like $150 Canadian I have Never had to spend that much to get my nails done Like I just don't understand where that number came from But I didn't check to see the price beforehand Although, so when I checked in I got an email like appointment And it said it was, it was going to be $60 US Which is still pretty expensive Like I think I spend like $30-$40 back home But that's Canadian But anyways, it ended up being $115 US Which I'm just like estimating would be like 150 maybe more Canadian. But yeah, they just did not turn out how I was expecting. I feel like you can't really tell on camera. You can tell more like in photo. But also, the skin all around my nails is so irritated. I have like cuts that were bleeding and stinging and just like at the base of my nail beds, it's all swollen and red. It's nails, it's not that big of a deal. I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I spent like $150 to get my nails done and I'm gonna have to go back home and pay to get these taken off but the lady who did it was really nice so I feel bad because I posted that Instagram story and I tagged the nail place I think it was up for like six or seven hours and then I deleted it because I checked my DMs and the nail salon hadn't opened the DM to like see the mention I don't know I, I just didn't really want them to see it and like the lady who did my nails to see it and feel bad because like she was nice but it's overall just not a great experience and i would not recommend that place i could see how many people clicked through to check out their page and it was like over five thousand people like checked out their instagram page so anyways that was my new york nail salon experience teeks you look bigger you a big little girl I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can start editing it and get it posted tomorrow, but I wanted to say a couple things. So I just did a big closet clean out and I've posted a whole bunch of new stuff on my Depop. If you guys wanna check that out, I will link it down below. I'm also gonna be adding more. I just need to take pictures and get it posted. Oh, this plant looks like it's, sorry, I get so distracted by my plants. Um, oh, also, if any of you guys are interested in or are following with like my health updates and stuff, I have a new video that I'm gonna be posting on Wednesday. So definitely come back for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye guys.